Hello, hello everyone on this blessed, blessed Friday. I didn't want to come on here. Um, I'm slowly, very slowly, unpacking a lot of stuff. Sorry, I sound a little hoarse. Um, but, well, I just moved into these apartments. And the other day, somebody gro broke into my car. They broke out the driver's side window. And I had a couple of things in the car. But um, it's just the fact they broke in my car. It is glass all over my car. And they took my glasses but their shades you know the brown ones I'm always wearing they took those um I'm, I'm gonna show y'all <laughs> you know uh, the glass everywhere in my car sorry this is water I don't I'm losing my voice um I'm gonna have to wait to get it fixed um even with car insurance, it's almost $500 to get that window fixed. $500 with car insurance. Um, it's, it's crazy. It, they broke in five cars over here. Five cars. One next to me and then a couple of bays down. They broke in another one and then at the end two more five cars five cars they broke in I'm looking at the window I'm sitting in my little window whatever seating area um, I'm trying to download the pictures to my tablet I'm also watching a movie I'm multitasking um, yeah this what's been going on besides other stuff um i can't really talk about the other stuff yet yet no because um anyway um it's a lot of going on um but let me show y'all what what happened So I'm gonna have to wait for a while to get my window fixed. Um, I'm, y'all already know my windshield is cracked, so because somebody on the opposite side of the highway were having road rage with somebody on their side, and they threw something. I don't know how they missed that car. It was right by each other, but it flew over the highway and hit my car and I was going the opposite direction. So now I got my window, the driver's side, gone, gone. Um, and as y'all know, I don't really work uh, because of COVID and stuff like that. Um, I just got update paperwork from my doctor. I still can't, uh, both of them, I still can't go back to work or anything I'm telling you <laughs> but all I could do is pray uh, that's all I could do um, just keep going and I know I look tired I am I'm waiting for my daughter she's supposed to be bringing um, my grandsons the two oldest ones um, they're spending the weekend with me. Um, but hold on, let me show y'all. So, this is my car. They threw stuff all on my floor. Um, that was the bags I was putting the glass in. Um, I put the boy, um, the box on the seat because I was gonna go clean the glass off the seat and the floor. But they scratched up my door real bad. Uh, I don't know what all this stuff is.
but I had like a potpourri thing in the car. So that's what you see all on the floor, the brown stuff. Um, uh, the, my um, car fragrance the, with the flower thing. It was hanging on the mirror. Um, <laughs> they put stuff in the door. Thank you. <laughs> So I don't know if you can see the doors. They got scratches all on there. It's a movie I'm watching, you see. Uh, but you can probably see the scratches. It was no scratches on the door. So the doors are all scratched up. Um, there's just glass everywhere. I could barely just close the door without it popping out and up and everywhere so i had glass in my dress pockets um and my i had sandals on so it kept falling in my sandals and everything so i'm not gonna have to clean my car out too um you know vacuum it well i already vacuum mostly all the glass um, i could after that so i'm gonna deep clean it um, soon as I can and for right now it's just going to be um, I should have took pictures after I cleaned it um, I couldn't get all that brown stuff out of off the floor but they I mean there was glass all in my seat big chunks i mean it was all broken up but it was still kind of holding on to the plastic it was big chunks um <laughs> I'm, i mean i want to be real real mad but i'm not because it was nothing i can do i didn't know about it um the police report was done they had i didn't know they didn't have no cameras over here so they only got a camera in the office and a camera facing the elevator elevator sorry so lucky me sorry i got this little ribbon thing i took it off something so i just put it on my head because i i was getting tired of doing my hair so i just did some twists um i didn't do the bottom the bottom was just braided up so I'm gonna take it the bottom down to redo it but I didn't like that this the front part and then the little and then this little curly thing they just keep escaping out of my hair but <laughs> who cares about that but um yeah so <laughs> The every rains. I mean, I got a trash bag over there. Like I said, um, they don't have no security over here, no gate, because we're by the highway and it's like uh, crazy if you turn up and it's like off the SS road. Um, wow. Anyway, I, I keep thinking about it and I keep checking on my car, but. There's not too much I can do about it. Um, <laughs> I know, I need to tan. I try to get one this summer, but <laughs> no luck. Uh, I know it doesn't match my face. Um, well, that's what has happened this week. Sorry, I haven't been uh, vlogging, making videos, but like I said, I'm slowly unpacking. Um, let me show y'all my shelf that I did so far. I'm going to change it. I just put stuff on there for right now. So, this is what it looks like. Yeah.
I didn't want to. So as you know too, um, some of the stuff I took, <laughs> um, and, and it wasn't visible at all, is my Bath and Body Works candles. Because I have a ACV three wheel, three row. So it wasn't visible. Um, not at all. So uh, they took my candles that I did have with me before I moved in. Um, it was in there. But like I said, it wasn't visible. You couldn't even see it. Um, there were <laughs> anyway. They took my candles, and I know, don't keep nothing visible, which I didn't, but I guess they just looked up on it, but, like, my daughter and my son are mad because they took my candles, my, and, um, in my coach purses I had to but they were not in uh, in view at all you cannot see them they were very under the seat um, you can never see them you can even see the bag or or the strap of my purses or nothing because I make sure because I don't want nobody breaking in my car but I just I guess they just that's the first time I see my card, so I guess they just wanted to see what I have, and they took it. So, my purses alone, my coach purses, I had two of them, um, my candles, which is understandable. I mean, not understandable, but I don't even know what to say about it, because I'm just like, uh okay it's not that I could really do about it um, am I mad just a little bit not too much because like I said it's nothing I can do um, police report was done um, <laughs> wow it's just crazy you know everybody try to live their life and you know reward themselves sometimes and somebody else come along and and I know if they've never seen my car going to any of these stores because I don't I didn't even live in this town for over two or three years um, and then when I was kind of in Austin, but a, a little outside of it. So they never knew, you know, when I came to town or whatever. I mean, in, in, in town. But even when I was living with my sister in another town, I would go different places and stuff like that. So Anyway, like I subscribe, make a comment below. Don't forget your notification bell. And as always, always welcome, welcome to my new subscribers and those who are still with me. I welcome you and I thank you. Sorry, I'm watching a vampire memoir movie. Um, <laughs> I, I didn't see this movie so many times. Um, stay cool, stay well, stay warm, stay sanitized. And as always, guys, be blessed. Till next time.